thousands of federal workers are not being paid during the shutdown. Members of Congress are. They're still collecting their $170,000 paychecks. Yeah, meantime, dozens of them are getting ready to cash out. More than 70 members are leaving D.C. for good by the end of the year. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick verified they're not leaving Capitol Hill empty-handed thanks to taxpayer-funded pensions. Bram? Yeah, Arizona Senator Jeff Flake is one of many members retiring in the next week. Flake appears to be in line to collect a pension. He might need it more than others. More than half the members of the United States Senate are millionaires. Arizona's Jeff Flake isn't one of them. Flake's wealth ranks 88th in the 100-member Senate, 12th from the bottom. But Flake and the six dozen other members of the House and Senate leaving office this year won't go home empty handed. Members of Congress get something most American workers don't get, a lifetime pension. Members pay 8% of their salary into the pension fund. American taxpayers match that contribution. Congressional pensions max out at $139,000 a year. That's 80% of a member's annual salary of $174,000. Based on his 18 years in office, Flake would collect an estimated $53,000 a year by waiting until age 62, or he could collect a smaller payment starting next year. Like many American workers, members of Congress have 401k accounts. Taxpayers match 5% of their pay and kick in an extra 1%. Members of Congress also collect Social Security benefits. Because our D.C. reps earn far more than the average worker, their benefits are almost double the typical retirees. And one more thing about Jeff Flake's pension. Under federal rules, he would have had an option 18 years ago not to participate in the pension plan. It's not clear whether he selected that option. Live in the Alert Center, Bram Resnick, 12 News.